It's five o'clock. Uh, roll call. Uh, Alderman Jim Boren is here, vice chair. Todd Wolf, committee member, District 2. Marcus Savaglio, Alderman, District 5. Ray Mitchell, Alderman, District 9. Okay, thank you. Uh, call to order. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, the next thing on the agenda. The next thing on the agenda is uh, uh, 2.1 approval of the minutes from the May 27, 2020 meeting. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from May 22nd. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Uh, items for discussion and possible action 3.1 RO 182 1920 of April 20th, 2020, document 3.1, submitting a claim from Richard Davies for alleged overbilling when his two family residents. 1423, 1423A Oakland Avenue, uh, changed to a single family. Uh, do you have that one, Attorney Adams? Yes, I do. So uh, th this is just a report to you that uh, this was a denial. Uh, we did investigate this and uh, there were two issues here. Uh, one is uh, having to do with the statute of limitations. Uh, you, you are required to report um, any claims within uh, 120 days. Uh, so we had to deny any of his claims that were more than 120 days old. Uh, as to his claims that were 120 days or less, uh, they had been taken care of. He was refunded uh, those funds. And so there is nothing left to his claim. And so the claim was uh, denied. So we're just looking for a motion to file. I'll motion. entertain a motion. Motion, no, 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 motion to file. Uh, we have a motion and a second to file. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye. Motion carries to file. 3.2 RO number 152021. June 1st, 2020, document number 3.2, submitting a claim from Garrett Clemmy for alleged damages to his basement at 2212 New Jersey Avenue when raw sewage came up through the floor drains. Uh, Attorney Adams, you have that one? Yes, uh, so this is also a report to you of a denial. Uh, the claim was denied because of no uh, uh, yeah, the, the city did not have any uh, duty in, in this regard. So uh, the claim was denied and he's been informed of that. And so the uh, matter should be filed. Motion. I'll entertain a motion to file. Motion to file. Second. We have a motion and a second to file the document. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye, motion carries. 3.3 resolution 30-20-21 uh, from June 1st, 2020, document number 4.2, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to ex execute uh, the First Amendment of the development agreement between Oscar Apartments LLC and the city of Sheboygan with regard to the development adjacent to South 15th Street. Chad, do you have this one? I do. So in the packet in the IFC, just to run a little bit through this, you'll recall the uh, council approved a development agreement with Oscar Apartments LLC to build approximately 200 multifamily development units on the former Vandervart. 
Um, that project is of estimated at about 45 million. Um, as the developer is working through their permanent financing for the project, a number of modifications uh, had come forward. So they had come back to the Planning Commission and Architecture Review Board to get new approvals because they put underground parking as was recommended by HUD, who's the financer of the deal. So they put underground parking under the buildings and they consolidated the buildings from four buildings down to three buildings. Um, and then they requested a couple of additional changes. So the changes include that the developer proposes to build 240 units, revised from the original 248 units in three buildings. Uh, modify the start date to be August of 2020 with the completion of construction by December 1st of 2021. Update the construction schedule reflective of the point above. Uh, tweak the development incentive language, removing the annual payment amount of 471,350 to allow the payment to be made in an amount equal to 65% of whatever the tax increment revenue is. So. With that in the agreement, it, it locked them in at that full amount, but if their value should go higher, um, they could get paid out sooner. They're only gonna get up to a max anyway. So this removes it to give them the flexibility that if the development cost, the total development is higher than that, it's not locking them in at that 471,000. Um, the city would start making the payment starting in 2023 and ending in 2038. And then it gives us some flexibility on our part as it relates to negotiating with Union Pacific for the purchase of the abandoned right-of-way. So those are the changes that are summarized and outlined in the agreement and staff is looking for uh, Common Council approval on the First Amendment. I can answer any questions you might have. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Uh, Chad, I had a question. Uh, the eight apartments that we're losing, are those just uh, a combination of the one and two? Are there some threes in there? Or what exactly are we losing in that one building? They still kept the threes at the number of threes at the same amount. So I would have to say that it's probably a combination of studios, one and two bedrooms. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have a motion. We have a motion and a second to approve. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Uh, the the date of our next regular meeting is on June twenty second. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Vice Chair votes aye. Thank you for your time this afternoon. Thank have you. a good evening. Yep. Thank you, everybody.